What is going on everybody? Ever hey, give me another uh, sound episode for more Pippin Free Deluxe on Nintendo Switch today Cause uh, we're gonna uh, finish our first expedition uh, on day number one and now we're on day two and uh, we're gonna get on to uh, Crash Titan into the uh, Garden of Hope where we go ahead and uh, take our assets uh, Jake into uh, an appropriate land So uh, without further ado, uh, let's go right on to it So uh, if you guys are watching this, um, this episode so far, just make sure you uh, leave an avatar to like uh, share and uh, subscribe and uh, ring the notification bell so that every day I go ahead and uh, upload a new video So just to be sure you guys are stay tuned in on throughout on my uh, some of my episodes uh, coming throughout my content So just to look out for that Anyway, here we are at the Guardians of Hope So um, but the video should be around here. Something is uh, flash on my map. Uh, maybe it's her I'm running out of something so I, I hope I find her before it's too late Okay, so now we see because we're approaching this onion now. So I love that the onion has followed me here. So where are the pitmen? Okay, so we just dance to approach it by pressing A. And um, of course, we got it's uh, 21 in the field. We can go right ahead and uh, confirm okay. Oh, that's right. The data file it, I found explain all this. The onion is uh, the pitman's nest. Uh, yes, that's exactly right. So we can go ahead and close this. So I'm going to install an application on the copad that lets me uh, check the Pitman status remotely. Okay, so now we're just uh, installing our, our new file. So uh, let's see. So now we can go and take a look at Pitman info if you like. Okay. So uh, anyway, so uh, how about we do something? So uh, we can go ahead and uh, start by take a look at some of these uh, enemies here. So this here, it, uh, we can look at our Piclopedia now. So that is, is it took me uh, it took a while since um, Nintendo uh, weren't expecting to the uh, the, the main Piclopedia on since uh, on Pitman Free they they didn't do it on the original because now on the Swiss version yeah so we finally got Piclopedia so it's finally back. So uh, now we can just go ahead and uh, look at some of these enemies all the code and uh, and stuff. So this is. What is this? So this is structural flaw back, which is the way only one, so it takes no time at all for them to, to emerge from their hiding places underground. They don't do or do much at once of a surface, uh, but you have uh, to, to give them uh, credit for being a very efficient boards. Alright, well eventually we can go ahead and close this, so uh, that, uh, that we see because we're looking at the female shell grove, which is our main habitat at the uh, tropical wild, which we did already took out the other day. So, uh, we can go ahead and take a look. If we go look at the camera and we go activate it, but uh, wait a minute. So, how can we, um, how can I not go look at a pitman? Uh, hold on. So, I think I got like a. Uh, hold on. So, I can go ahead and take a photo by uh, pressing on minus and then ZR just to go activate the camera. I can't go do that, but wait a minute. So, how am I not facing the pitman? Okay, there we go. I think I got it. So I think that's our whole army with us, so we can go ahead and uh, start by taking a, a picture if you like. Because you can tell that the capture uh, taken can be, uh, t can be be shown automatically throughout the, uh, on, the, on the switch. So um, anyway, we can go ahead and start by quitting this and get to work here. So we got here, it's uh, a lot more of these, um, these puzzles to solve here. So aim for it uh, back and for victory. Alright then, so uh, we see we got the dwarf board, but we can go ahead and take it out. And we, if we can go press on S and go ahead and start by getting to work on repairing the bridge if you like. So uh, this file says pressing in the release S to, uh, to charge with uh, the currently I uh, select Pitman. Alright, so you Pitman can start by getting to, to work by carrying this on um, the, the baby ball board to your onion. And oh, come on. Um, actually, no, I was just uh, pushing the wrong button. My, my mistake. So we did have our first uh, fragment uh, piece uh, put in the bridge uh, to repair it, but uh, now we have to go get the second one, which we have to take down that wall. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, hold on. I, I want to make sure if I'm getting the corner right. All right, so uh, let's go and start by plugging. So we got 20 out on the 28 on the field. I mean, so uh, let's start by uh, throwing uh, more pit in. So we got it's a butterfly. We can take that to the ship too. And uh, come on, keep going. So the rest of you two can get to work on that. And we have uh, all our comrades to go ahead and take that down that sand wall. And uh, wait a second. So we got here uh, more of these pictures that are coming up from the uh, sprout. So I think that how many is that? How many of it we have so far? Oh, that's six we have. Okay. And uh, of course, let's go ahead and uh, report back to with our pitman. So we're gonna call it with our whistle, and we see if there's another of this uh, pallet. We can go and start by throwing one. 
And of course, we got here another file data. So I pivot and develop a uh, get factor that grow from leaf to bud and flowers. Okay, so uh, we'll start by uh, cracking this uh, eggshell. So we see here and it's wrapped into the custom. So we can tell you got the man. Okay, so now, um, so the eggshell can appear in the uh, Garden of Hope now. I didn't realize that because. Suddenly, because I remember back in the, in the original, because it had been shown from a distant tundra where we uh, go and uh, recruit with a uh, yellow pigment just to go and um, just to go ch rescue uh, Captain Charlie the other day. That's been a while back since seven years to be done. And so, in case you guys have remember that, let me know in the comment section. So, a uh, flower bloom on that pigment ahead is amazing how many uh, plant plant like uh, qualities they possess. So, I wonder if they develop any uh, new skills with that flower. So, I have to keep a close eye on them. Okay, so when Pikmin consume the nectar, they blossom to flower Pikmin. True, true. So, uh, hold on, let's get away from that. Oh, come on now. Okay, keep going. Okay, so that's all the flower we have. So, we got here, it's uh, more to uh, the fragment. So, uh, let's go and have these guys get to work on that. And got here, another file with the say Once the Pikmin are done to endpoint fragment, they will return to the original location of the fragment. True. So uh, anyway, we'll just go ahead and uh, stop by uh, calling one Pitman and stop by plucking each and every one of these two. Okay, so you guys are done for the day, so you have to go return. Wait a minute, hold on. I think I would do it. Uh, my bad. Um, sorry, Red. So you can go ahead and stop by carrying one. So you can, you can go and stop by carrying one fragment and uh, take it to the uh, the bridge to, just for uh, repairs. Anyway, so as you can see, guys, it's this uh, mama boy boy that is sleeping and had like, that snuff bubble in his nose, so uh, we can start by taking it out. So, shh, it's asleep. So I think we can sneak up on it. Okay, and it says here, uh, attack from behind to gain the advantage. Well, I don't mind attacking from behind, but we can go ahead and attack the weak point in his eye. It's like we did it for the, uh, on the, the Wii U. Uh, come on, keep going. Keep attacking the eye. Come on, guys, you got this. Okay, there we go. So now that you see the board board defeated, so we can start off by uh, calling more reinforcements here. And when the going gets tough, we retreat to a hiding place and wait for an opportunity. Alright. And uh, what else we got here? Okay, so we got more of these pallets. We can go ahead and um, have the rest of these two uh, go and uh, take it out. And we'll go and get the charge to work on this sand wall. And uh, how about you? You can go ahead and get to work. So you can help your brothers and sisters out. So uh, how about you go get the work on the wall and uh, let me go ahead and handle all the rest of the plucking on, on the pit then. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and uh, just touch you. Or like uh, I did like a plain tag with the pit man. Okay, so anyway, let's see how many we got. Okay, so it seems to me because we got 47 on the field now. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, call him uh, with a whistle. And get to a right on to uh, to the rest of these guys. So we see what they're, they're doing. So we're working on knocking out that wall. So we can start by throwing uh, a little bit more pitmen so that they can get to uh, work on that, that wall a lot faster. Get to go ban on their heads. And since we're done doing that, so we can go proceed. And there you see that Brittany, I mean, like, why is Brittany laying, sleeping down like that? I mean, like, she's been sleeping like a starfish. So, oh no, Brittany is just a lion bear. I hope I'm not too late. Uh, pick up Brittany, pick up, please go be alive. Alf, sorry about that, I was just taking a little nap. So you're close by? Why well, wasn't I move you ass? Hehe, <laughs> well you know me, I'm a pretty sound sleeper even with all these uh, creatures creeping around. But uh, never mind that, listen, I discovered that it looked like a piece of fruit that is over there. But uh, I'm kind of stuck here for the, the time being. Can you go and uh, check it out for me? Well, sure, Brittany. Uh, I can uh, sure do investigate that problem. So anyway, we got here. It says, "Oh wait, so this this is the uh, the, the sea sea berry. Uh, what is it? The, the sun sea berry? Okay, I think that is what it's called. So wow, well, it's uh, even bigger than I thought it would be. So if this uh, giant thing really is a uh, fruit. Then uh, we hit the jackpot. So I'd like to analyze it at the drink. So, but uh, how do I get it there? Well, eventually, uh, I hope you got here is uh, a whole co uh, a whole army of people with you. So why don't you start by throwing at it? So we'll throw like more than uh, five. Yeah, sure, we'll throw more. Than... Actually, wait a minute, hold on. Uh, okay, we, well, I thought I saw one Pitman just go and I'm not carry it, but uh, anyway, 
And let's see, so the Red Pippin are a good fighter. Yeah, so eventually because uh, Red Pippin has uh, enough potential just to become a lot stronger but than just to be furious at fires. So that they can get more than stronger than uh, Purple Pippin. But eventually they get more stronger than, than, uh, than one. Alright, so now we've got this uh, flowing enemy running from the sky. So let's go ahead and take it out by uh, throwing in reds. Alright, because it, it makes it a lot more faster. But you, you can see because these uh, red pippins can go ahead and stun enemy a lot faster. Which is uh, kind of interesting to see how these uh, red pippins can develop a lot more certain potential. So these are creature pippins too. Um, they're giving me a funny look. Yeah, like, um, they're, they're just staring right into your eyes, elves. Okay, so, uh, let me uh, go ahead and point this right. So, we're gonna stop our throwing some rocks. Alright, so we're gonna call some more of these uh, rocks. And, uh, keep throwing our uh, rocks again so that we can break that crystal. So that we can just go ahead and, uh, re-unleash the, uh, the, the onion. So, the onion was trapped inside a crystal. So if I have two types of paper now, I can uh, select the ones I want to use with elves. Yes, you can. So we can now select Pitman or person you want to throw you now. And when I want to split them up but by type, I'll use Y to dismiss the squad. Dismiss the squad was Y and uh, the Pitman will short themselves into different color groups. Alright. Anyway, so we got interrupted because the Pitman just uh, got into the SSJ that fast just to go analyze that strawberry. Oh, but the Jake is uh, sending us a message. Uh, yes it is indeed. Okay, so it's saying analyze and discover. Okay, so now I can still rotate the other stra strawberry if I like. Okay. So here we go. So this is the Sun Sea Berry completed. So I remember uh, one day because the Sun Sea Berry does, um, does appear to be back in uh, Pippin 2 since uh, a while back. Since uh, 16 years ago. Large uh, quantity of Pippin U detected. Uh, this is a uh, seed of bearing a fruit making a uh, cultivation of on coal pie possible. Juice from this uh, fruit is, is safer for consumption by crew members. Okay, so now we got it's uh, free in stock now. I'll add a fruit file to the uh, coal pad uh, where we can uh, store the uh, result of our analysis. Okay, so this is where, um, where Brittany can go ahead and uh, start by um, talking uh, about the food, uh, what uh, the file that she has. For, uh, for for resources. So but since I don't want to know much about plants, I'll ask Brittany to write their report. She's the uh, Bontanus after all. Well, too bad. So anyway, we got uh, the rest of us sit down working on this onion. So we can pick up this uh, file. So this is uh, raw paper are very hard, like rocks, yes indeed. And uh, of course, we can start by uh, breaking... Wait, hold on, wrong button. I was uh, hoping to go press on A when I just uh, overdo by pressing the other uh, B button. Okay, well, I don't ask for red, so, uh, hold on. So, the red will just wait here. Okay, so the rest of these, uh, rocks are gonna go ahead and start by working on carrying that thing to the to red onion. Okay, so, uh, I'll go call in one red, and, uh, note one red, uh, one rock, I mean. <laughs> well, I just accidentally just called red. I'm on mistake. Okay, so why is it there? It's the only person that I'm believing is um, this Red Steve is uh, what it's named in. Because some of these people like to call Red Pippin Steve because um, somehow, because uh, I knew because um, Steve can be like uh, kind of annoying because um, somehow because you just really want just to, uh, to listen to my whistle really, really good just so that it can just hear the sounding of it so that I can just go ahead and randomly switch whatever Pippin I would like to uh, the switch. So, new spots will be uh, the same uh, color as the other uh, pigment that retrieved uh, the pellet or the creature. Interesting, interesting. Anyway, well, how about we just go ahead, right ahead and uh, call the other rest of our pigments? So, we're gonna get the other rest of these guys to come along with me. And, um, of course, uh, we're gonna get back to uh, plucking uh, the rest of these rocks if you like. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get a move on. So, uh, we're gonna go and uh, move further straight this way, because uh, we're gonna be heading. Alright, here we are. So, uh, we're gonna go back to, to this because we got it's, it's a crystal wall that we have to go take out. So, now let's go throw some rocks. So that the rocks can go ahead and uh, do the cellar work just to go and crack this um, with glass open. Okay, so it's like you're just cracking your iPhone case. <laughs> okay, so uh, anyway, let's uh, go ahead and have these uh, rocks go ahead and start by working on sucking up nectar. Okay, so um, I'm guessing that because we got like a little bit more flowers. 
Okay, I see you something. Hold on, Ripley. Let me go and get some more flowers first. So we need some more flowers. Okay, so now we got a little bit more lead now. So let's go and start by working on this um this crystal glass. So can you smack this wall? Yes, I can smack this wall. You got that done right. And here we go. So now Brittany is uh, finally recruiting with us now. So we're finally reunited. Ew, I can't tell you how happy I am to get out of this place. I'm sick of sleeping outside, and I'm super hungry. Uh, what's with uh, your entourage bear? What? That's you say? Or I call Pitman? They're cute. But then we don't have time for cuteness right now. Look over there, Elfie. Uh, yes, I see. That's a lemon we're going after. So let's work together and uh, nab that a huge piece of fruit. Alright, so uh, let's do uh, call in Brittany. Okay, so we're throwing uh, Brittany, so now we have to go and throw some reds, which I do quite remember already. So I'll take it from here. Press that Y, then uh, select me if you uh, be so kind. Alright, so press that Y to open the, the menu and switch the leaders. So I split into two squads, you're gonna manage your uh, workload more effectively. Got that? Oh, okay, so we can press and hold Y and then go select it with the L stick. I got that. Okay. So we see we got um, we got it's a morning six still to go carry. So how about we go ahead and uh, have Elf go follow me? So we got it's another this uh, file. So on the code pad radar, align uh, with with your destination. Select go here with A to start moving. Okay, so how strange you have to find such a data file. Come to think of it, that the radar I did have a go here feature. Uh, we should try it out soon. But it seems like it'd uh, be helpful if we uh, decided to split to multiple squads. Uh, okay then. So, um, instead of here, so we got some of these uh, pallets that we can go and uh, start by having uh, the rest of these uh, pit and go take it to the ship. So, we're gonna need like more reds that we, which we can possibly get. So, we got some of these guys, so what do these guys, guys call eventually? I, I could not even remember. Okay, so we'll keep throwing. Okay, so we got another of these eggshells. So, uh, let's go and break that thing open and uh, we're gonna go with the charge. Uh, hold on guys, hold on. So, uh, let's just, uh, let's, let's go ahead and suck up nectar so that we can get these uh, guys to bl blossom to flowers. And, of course, so, uh, we'll have the rest of these guys get to work on this, but wait a minute, hold on. So, what we do see here is, uh, we got, it's, uh, more of, uh, of a rot, so we can stop our throwing more. Okay, we got it's worth uh, a project. We got, I want to go right here and stop my speed running bit because I knew I grew up back in the day playing Pitman 3 the other day. Oh, uh, come on. No, no, no. You're good. Keep going. And, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. So, we got here. It's another fire report. So, uh, we can go ahead and pick this up. So, break the crypto, uh, no duel uh, for a stance, uh, for a chance to attack. Okay. And, of course, what we got here is uh, more to uh, to carry. So, uh, let's go ahead and get the charge. Come on, guys. Get all the fragments. Okay, so now that we got that clear, so um, we're gonna have these guys go ahead and stop carrying this enemy to their base. Okay, keep going. And we got, we see we got, we got it's a uh, more these Pikmin that are finished doing the job. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, stop uh, calling more Pikmin. Oh well, I gotta like uh, reset this. Okay, well, I knew we got the point is acting uh, a little bit strange lately because I didn't know, don't know what's just happened before. Okay, so I see we got, we got a lot, a lot of these uh, files to, uh, to open up. So this is the uh, Picolotnology uh, number 5. Okay, pellets are achieved by Pitman of the, uh, the same color produced uh, more sprouts. Alright, how interesting. So uh, we got more than 5, not bad. So uh, we're gonna go and switch with uh yeah so we're we'll gonna switch with elf and of course so wait a minute actually you know what how we um oh I'm trying to see how we dismiss Pitman oh okay so you just go and press and hold and down and wait a second so elf you will you will go and check back with the rocks real quick so. Yes, so you will go there. Oh, okay, well, this is cool. And Alf, uh, you will go ahead and gather the rest of your pitmen and uh, you will carry on to uh, to the to the base of yours. And of course, we got, I see we got, we got it's another crystal that we had to go knock out. And uh, let's go and get the rest of these guys to come along with me and uh, get the flock in. 
Okay, so we gotta use it's a lot more stuff to do but pluck and pitman. And yeah, so let's go and start by selecting what whichever hit we prefer to go and choose to use. Okay, so it seems to me like uh, alpha it sound like to me because you just go mate here in time. So we'll have that elf come and report back to us. So you'll make your way right, right over here. And we'll go call in Brittany again. And oh, wait a minute, what's going on? So now that what could it be? The radar is picking something up. Okay, so uh, what is it picking up exactly? So the radar is detecting a signal of, for, of some sort. Uh, maybe it's a new type of food. Okay, so I uh, couldn't wait to investigate what's uh, over there later. So let's go and uh, look right away. Well, maybe later. So we see we got we got is another file. So the red pigment are resistant to fire. Yes, indeed. So I'm go move up. So we got here it's a uh, yelly wally log, and it's a red pigment on uh, crescent when temple temple on. Oh, uh, I see. So we go ahead and read the rot. So um. Simply, simply need the rock because somehow the, the, the rock can go ahead and just go and get stunned just to get pounded on the ground and not get hurt but just to, to die for but um anyway wait a minute wait a second so is Elf on his way uh, okay well I see Elf on, is on the way right now so um let's get away from that okay so let's hurry up and check out no no this is not good uh rest in peace Steve uh wait oh no wait Steve's not dead okay well I thought he was gonna get cracked by that yellow water one but now he's, he's still alive Okay, so let's work on getting some more reds. Okay, so we're gonna get more than reds. And I can't jump my way uh, way down with Pitman. Oh, it can jump my way way down with Pitman, what it says, okay. So, uh, what's over here anyway? Okay, so let's keep pounding on it. So, is it. Okay, so yeah, that one is still alive. So we already kill it, and uh, we'll have the rocks go carry the leaf to their base. Be oh no! Well, as you can see in the custom card, I already did accidentally just uh, go and uh, throw the rock far fetch. Oh no, why is uh, Leval to Pitman? I need to blow the whistle with feed to call the Pitman back over here. Okay, so uh, let's see. Help uh, Panic and uh, Pitman by using your whistle. Okay, well, it just already did hurt the sound of my whistle already. So, uh, Rocky, please be extra careful not to go and uh, wet yourself. I mean, like, come on, just stay safe. Okay, so we'll have all these people go work on that wall. And we'll go call an elf. So that we can get through uh, the, the pluck and the rest of each and one of the pitmen. So, it, it, it seemed like to me because we still got a little bit more time of the, of the sun. Cause I'll uh, go right ahead and I'll uh, stop by working on getting to the work on this um the color contraction that the rest of Pitman. So what we can do is uh, we can go ahead and stop by bringing the rest of our squad this way. Okay, so we got our 97 of our Pitman and two of them that are carrying the um the, the leaf to their uh, to the onion. So let's start off by switching reds and we'll go switching uh, Brittany if you like. So we'll just uh, throw more than seven. So yes, Alf, I know you can't get up there. I already saw the comment already. Okay, so we're gonna throw these guys so that they can go and uh, work on by taking that that thing to the ship. I, I can't even remember what kind of fruit is called. But uh, oh, come on, keep going. Okay, so now we see because we got this here, the yellow gate in, in the area because uh, somehow I've been doing uh, like a whole lot of practice on playing uh, Pit Pit Free in the, uh, in the original the other day since I was solving this, um, this puzzle contraption here. So we can go and stop by taking out this uh, butterfly we like or if we're not close to the water that's fine well it's just gonna have to go fly off and uh, not go and see us, see us again. Okay so come on. So we're gonna have to dismiss all of these Pit Men. So are there any more files in the ground? Okay, well, there's nothing yet. So uh, let's go ahead and call out our army. Yeah, okay, there's a, a lot, a lot of uh, decent uh, land around here, but just to go solve the puzzle in this uh, forgettable uh, wasteland of uh, guarding the pulp. But uh, there's a lot to be done here, so uh, let's go ahead and start by tracking this plan. So let's get the rest of the squad to go and boost them up. Okay, why not? You can go take that uh, fiery blowhog, if you like. 
Okay, so I um, just want to make sure I get the pointer right. So come this way, please. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna get the rest of my army just to me. So anyway, we can go ahead and start by doing uh, more researching on on this. So how about we do this? So we'll go to the copad and take a look at uh, the enemy so far because we did like a like a span away just just to go to pit the pity just to go and uh, see what kind of new enemy that we did encounter. So this is a dwarf boar boy, which is a which is a which is structural flaw bat, which is a weight free. Despite his combat on front of the side, has a Brittany side appetite, so you can avoid getting a swarm by uh, drawing them out one by one to be dealt with. All right, uh, next one. So this is a white uh, specialid. So uh, this is it has a weak side, of course, and it weighs only one. So there's a it, there's a, a saying that that a tiny design adjustment that can. Cause huge uh, cascade of a change elsewhere in our project. So it made me wonder what, what, wait, hold on. So it made me wonder what effect our present here has has had on the planet. All right. So there's a lot more information going on with these guys. So you think uh, with the winds are like that, it's uh, would flow away on the slice of breeze. Maybe since they're working really hard to stay where it is. So if that's the case, it could have fooled me. All right. Well, that's all we have to look. So we have not even I not even remember what these uh, these enemies are. So we we got here. It's a a metal soul slurker. It's what it's called. Okay. And the next one is the uh, the scutter chuck. Okay. Yeah, I I really don't remember what a uh, scutter chuck was. I mean, like it just you go ahead and start by carrying a, a crystal ball and then just go use it to, just to crush a uh, soft pit and with, with a soft bots. So we won't want to read out the fire report right now. So we'll just go ahead, right ahead and uh, start by moving further up this way. And of course, so as you guys can see, so if we go near its SF Drake, so what will happen? Okay, so if we approach it, so... Okay, well, we, I don't see why it's not doing anything. Because I look at so many people because they can go ahead and start by calling the SF Drake. And it, it helps it just to go and uh, blow the entire whistle so that the, the so that your pitman can go and uh, return back to the base where they're not going uh, dilly dolly. But um, anyway, we, we can go back to the uh, to their base and we uh, go and check out with the uh, with the rocks. So uh, let's go and see what the rocks are doing because we can't go abandon these guys because they know they they just uh, do what they um they can on their, their duty just to go and uh, away to them. So I see uh, like, uh, we, we saw because the, the rock pit and just uh, increased it, its bud. So uh, we already saw what's, what's that going to happen. So we got 99 on squad, which is not half bad. So I believe that's all we have to look. So we can go and uh, do so call it a day if you like because uh, we did finish our job. So uh, how will we end the day? Okay, so we can go ahead and end it just by uh, pressing pause and then wait a minute. So according to Elf, uh, any straight people will face attack from uh, natural predators. Okay, so this is a tutorial of uh, when you're not getting the pitman left behind. So it looks like there's pitman in this area of the nest. I think we call it an onion. Can they get back to their own foe? Uh, make sure pitman are in your squad or close to the onion when the sun sets, but all other will perish. So I better call a bat to the pitman who aren't in my squad before it's too late. But it could be a tyrant to walk around everywhere and to collect all the pitmen. So I'll make sure that when you press A or near the S of Drake, a whistle will be a sound that will call all pitmen back to the onion. Okay, well that's the first step we need to do so by um, go calling the S of Drake just to go and blow the whistle so that all the pitmen are surround each other just to get back to their base. Okay, so that's a pretty good day so far. So we did like um, we did finish that day. So now what are we doing here? So uh, we just go look at this. So we don't leave any pigment behind. Uh, nope, not today. So uh, we'll go ahead and get the skip. And of course, so we'll just go and skip it again. Oh wait a minute, no, we can't skip because um, somehow we have to watch this uh this onion produce into um to red and black. So we see if you get the, the black onion, it's going to, to go ahead and uh, suck it up to, to the red onion just to uh, dissolve. Very interesting, the two of them are merged into one. I'll have to make a note of this uh, fascinating behavior. Okay, so different color onions that can feed into a single onion. Exactly, that's exactly right. 
So let's analyze the other food too. Okay, so we got it in here that the face are rankler. So we can go ahead and analyze that. Let's go ahead and produce some more food. Oh, actually, we can go ahead and fast forward if we like. Okay, so that's a sunseed berry. Alright, and a death bomb. Alright, because it, it makes a lot more uh, work of progress because we don't have to, to, to see if the, the, the game is going to uh, to produce even a lot slower just to see what kind of food we did to collect in our journey. So our uh, ration out there the juice. So no extra gold for anyone. Okay, well, uh, we, we want to make sure we do that a lot quicker. So this is great. So we actually have a little bit of juice buffer. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's a good day so far on day two. So uh, that, which is already did. Which is already finished. So we can go ahead and press the net. So um, there's uh, more of these uh, guys to talk to. So back on board, we ran out and analyzed it on the fruit that we achieved and found it uh, suitable for copy consumption. So it looked like there is a, is a plenty of more where that, that came from. We united with Brittany finding this fruit. It's a still early though, but things seem to be uh, taking a turn for the better. Okay, so this is uh, a final report from Elf. Which we did already read his, uh, his article already, uh, what he's uh, making a lot of sense about. But um, anyway, that's a good day so far, so uh, we're gonna go in back tomorrow just to go and uh, finish out another day. But uh, we're, we're, I'm just gonna do, just, just to try the hardest I could just to keep on uploading new videos of uh, Pippin Food Deluxe, so just to stay tuned on that. So uh, here we go, so now these uh, guys are communicating each other, so we finally discovered ed edible matter. Uh, after close and analyze them, my conclusion is uh, that the fruit juice is delicious. I never tasted anything like that on Kopai. We need to, to continue our search. If there is more to be had, uh, we should have it. Right, let's focus all our energy into on finding the work fruit and uh, absolutely nothing else. We still need the, the Smith dry key. Uh, we can't go get home without that. Right, let's uh, focus all our energy uh, on achieving fruit and the key and absolutely nothing else. The captain, we still need to find the captain as well. Right. So we'll just uh, get the food, the key, and the captain. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? No, I think that's all been said. Okay, well I think I did like a uh, flash. <laughs> I had the uh, the photo on flash mode. So what's the signal uh, coming from over there? So I sincerely uh, hope it's a captain. Let's hurry over there and find out. Good idea. Uh, okay, so good idea. He might uh, be hogging all the food for himself. Okay, then. Well, eventually, we're gonna start a new day at, on day number three. Well, eventually, we'll, that we'll have to pick up later. So, next time, we're gonna get back to the Garden of Hope just to go ahead and knock out with this uh, boss fight that's gonna be coming up on the next uh, episode. So, you don't go anywhere and you'll be participating on staying tuned on the next video. So, thank you guys so much for taking the time to enjoy the episode. So, if you're liking the series and you want to see more Pitman Free, be sure to leave an advertise a like, share the video to a friend, and also. Be the one to hit us subscribe to 700 if you're a subscriber to the notification bell so that you'll be staying up there and notified to when the news and awesome videos have made way. So just to make sure you guys are looking out for that and stay on top and be fan by uh, not subscribing me. So please do keep your subscriber going up. It, it means a lot to me. And uh, by all means, all the description below. So if you want to help support, support my channel right now, you can do so. We read them step by step just to help get you on started on support my, uh, my channel for the, the series. So that's all it. For the, uh, for the series, you guys, I will hope to talk to you later on for more Pitman Free Deluxe. Take care and, um, and I'll talk to you on the next video.